Life is not about the materialistic things you can manage to possess. Instead, life is all about how many different and unique things you can experience in a go. And one of the unique and eye-catching things we all encounter during our travel is the wildlife. We all are passionate about the nature and wildlife in some way or the other. As it is said that human species are formed through the process of evolution. Furthermore, we also share 99% of our DNA with apes. Hence, it is proved that we humans are part of the nature. So today in this video, we will talk about what is wildlife and along with that, you will get to know what is wildlife photography and its types. Welcome back to Pretty Hut channel, an exclusive platform to know more about photography. So wildlife is a term that refers to the flora and fauna in an ecosystem. In other words, it refers to the plants and animals that are not normally domesticated. Hence, it can be found in all ecosystems such as forest, grassland, rainforest, desert, etc. And at the same time, it helps to maintain the ecological balance of nature and maintains the food chain. There are various types of wildlife on Earth. If we could categorize it, it would be namely mammals, birds, insects, reptiles and things like that. Since each of these wildlife survives in varied environments and conditions, they also come up with different behaviors. And when it comes to photography, it is one of the most interesting as well as an attractive genre in photography. But to be more specific, it is much tougher than any other professional photography field. Wildlife photography is nothing but capturing the wild in their own habitat. It is the best way to hunt animals with our cameras and capture their essence in our shots. But like any other genres in photography, here our subjects will not pose as per our needs. And that is the aesthetic and curse of this field. We can't change our nature. One has to shoot in a split second, where the animal behavior and light come together, making an awestruck moment. And as a matter of fact, wildlife photography can be differentiated into seven different categories, namely mammals, reptiles, amphibians, birds, fish, plants and insects. So first is mammals, one of the most intelligent of all living beings. Mammals are animals that have backbone and gross hair at some point during their life. They are called mammals because all female creatures possess glands that can produce milk, such as from it ranges from cats to whales. Second are reptiles. They are the animals which possess scales instead of hairs or feathers. They are considered the ancestors of both and mammals, like that of lizard, snake, crocodile, etc. Third are amphibians, the first vertebrate to appear on land. They have the ability to live both on land and in water, like that of frogs and salamanders. Fourth are birds, the only living animals that have feathers. They all have wings, though all cannot fly. Example of flying birds are crane, bar-headed goose, vulture, etc. And some of the non-flying birds are ostrich, emu, penguin, and so on. Fifth is fish. They are the kind of animal that lives in water and breathes through their gills, like that of goldfish, crayfish, golden snapper. Sixth are plants. They are the living organisms that cover most of our mother earth. They can be preserved both domestically and widely in the form of trees, flowers, shrubs, herbs, etc. And the last is seventh, that are insects. One of the largest group of animals, about 75% of all animals are insects. For example, beetles, ants, grasshoppers, and so on. But most of the people consider animals and birds photography as wildlife. It might be because both are movable and are found in different actions. And also they bring liveliness and a kind of interaction in the frame. Now the next question arises here is, is plants generally come under this field? Well, yes, it comes under the wildlife category itself. Whether you know it or not, there are some wild plants in our ecosystem, such as Nila Kurinji, Lion's Ear, Devil's Claw, and plants like that, which are photographed for botanical needs. Like wildlife photographers, there are botanical photographers who are keenly interested in these habitats. So in short, Wildlife photograph of any category helps to bring up the awareness about the existing wild species in terms of their population, diverse species, 
genes, etc. that exist on Earth. Hence, wildlife photography has become an essential tool for ecologists, biologists, environmentalists, etc. So altogether, wildlife photographs hold the powerful ability to convey the world about the importance of other species. And therefore, it also helps us to fulfill the responsibility we have as human beings toward these species who share the nature and natural environment with us. So friends, after knowing all these things, let us know in the comment section that in which genre of wildlife photography you like to shoot and why. Till then, stay tuned with us, subscribe our channel, click on the bell button for the notification of our latest videos. For photography courses, different specializations in photography, visit our website www.creativehut.org and for more photography articles, tips, tricks, portfolio and much more, visit our official blog www.creativehuts.com. Feel free to like and share. Until we meet next time, stay safe and healthy. We will be back soon. Bye-bye.